Okay guys, here we are for my let's play of Forza 3. Now if this audio sounds a little bit different than normal, I've had to do a voiceover. My settings on the capture card are for some reason reset and uh, I had to... Well, the audio was missing in pro edit, so I'm now watching this video with you guys at the same time as doing the recording of the audio. As you can see, I think I'll let the intro run a little while here and you will see what a lot of people are talking about. And it is, it's quite clearly a beautiful looking game. Um, Forza 3 Horizons. I, I've always been a fan of the Forza series. Not, not so much the racing game, the constant lap after lap after lap just kind of grinds me down and I get bored very very quickly so yeah it's uh, I think the intro starts about now and uh, I'll stay quiet for you to watch the intro because it's really nice and cool here we are Um, as you can see guys, I mean the intro is really really cool, it's great, it's set in Australia, there's plenty of things to, well the, the actual environment helps to the game I guess because it's got all sorts of terrain, it's got roads, it's got beach, it's got forest, it's just a great place to play it. Um, as you can see from this, this is the only downside to this, well not the demo, but the game in general, I, I feel that Horizons, albeit is the better of the two franchises, I just find that the open road is a better way to play. Um, you've got so much to do you don't even have to follow the game um, you can have a you know a wander as a lot of people do I mean this is the intro where you get to actually drive this car in a second um, just basically to the to the place it's taking you and it's the story unfolding that's my only worry about this game uh, I think this I ended up playing this demo for about an hour um, and there's plenty to do that's the that's the other thing people are, are saying that's really really good there's plenty to do in this demo but what worries me the final game is going to be just what we've seen before in Horizons 1 and 2. And I actually didn't get anywhere near finishing Horizons 2 for that reason. Um, it just got the same stuff. Although it's, it, it's a shame because, like I say, you've only got to look at it and it's well made. It's gorgeous to look at and great to play. And these kind of games are my favourite kind of driving games um, of late because... The monotony of all track games, not all of them, because if it's done correctly, it can keep your interest, such as Formula One 2016 is a track game, but it's well done because it's within the franchise and it's something people enjoy. Just the normal arcade style, lap after lap after lap, a la Forza 6, Forza 5, they kind of do grind me down. Um, as you can see, driving on here is not very uh, good when you first start in a very fast car, but... Uh, the overall demo is well worth it, and I think you guys will enjoy playing it. I certainly did, for definite. Getting the hang of the car a little bit now, obviously. Although I get nowhere near catching these guys up, I think I make an error in a minute. But it's like I say, it's just to get you to the uh, start of the uh, game, which I think is about now. This is cool though. This was, and this is the kind of thing I like. I feel much more at home handling these cars because they're kind of dirt rally-esque where you've got the, the gravel. As you can see early on, I, I do handle this. N not, not bad actually. There are some great moments in it and the first thing that I'll take you to in this video for the first race is kind of one of them epic events where you do something crazy remember Forza Horizon 2 is when you raced a plane and a, a train I think I really like them and I hope there's more of them in this version and there's also I think I don't know if I've got it in this let's play I can't remember I recorded it a few days ago um, 
where you find the cars line about all the vicinity and then you get to race against the driver to, to win that car they're they're back in and that goes back to what i was just saying very very samey the only thing really you can change is graphically it's an upgrade and obviously the environment being in australia is an upgrade i think what you're going to find is the gameplay is virtually the same which again you'll either you're either going to enjoy it or you're not you're going to get bored I'm definitely still getting it. I think I am down for review, actually, of this. Hopefully, Microsoft has sent me a review of Forza every year for the last God knows how many. They've been really good with that. So here we are with the story again. The second part unfolds, and you get to the... the uh, carrying on of the story. Where it basically describes what Forza Horizons is, I think, and it shows you the map, so I'll, I'll let you have a look. As you can see in my captures, I always forget to turn people's names off. So if you're on my friends, there's no people in the video. Apologies. It's something I have been trying to remember to, to do. There's so much to do when you set a capture up. I mean, not really relevant to this game, um, but the Xbox was being a pain. But I want to also come back to this, the game, in a minute. For the first time ever in any of these games that started adding names, my real name's in there. And I actually quite love it. Although the pronunciation from the... The person in the game sounds a bit weird, sounds a bit girly if I'm being honest, but uh, it's there anyway and it's really cool that they, they call out your name for a change. It does make a little difference aesthetically, I kind of I think it tries and makes you feel a bit more involved in the game, I guess. But yeah, going back to the setup of the capture, for some reason the, the Xbox does not throw the signal out to HDMI to the because you do a pass through, you go in from the Xbox out back to TV, and for some reason, just doesn't it just doesn't throw the signal every time, and it's a kind of swapping ports and slots, and it's, it can be annoying. But as you can see, when it does the coverage, the capture card is just great. I love it. And now this is one of the signature racers, which is actually pretty cool. But I've since found out as well, I, I, I think what you'll see here, I make a really bad error at the start, like an horrendous error, completely write the car off and come to a standstill. I think this is scripted. In fact, I'm, I'm virtually 100% certain now this is scripted. That at the end of this race, you always end up winning for the game, I think. And you'll see right here. I mean, don't forget they're in a helicopter. You see that I oversteer, go into the wall, make a complete error. That helicopter now should be long gone. Should no way on earth should I be able to catch that up, but you do pretty early on because there's a couple of scripted events all through this race, but you'll see in a second. But I think this and maybe another event is scripted. I don't know. But this definitely is, because you couldn't make an error like that virtually coming to a stop. And then, and as I say, not racing very well either at the start. This was a bit more lighter on the steering, if I remember rightly, to the big Jeep, because it's obviously smaller and lighter. This is cool though when you go off road straight onto the beach. This is again what, I, what I'm really liking about this. The environment is just made for, for this game. And it, these events are really cool. If I remember rightly, in, in the Forza Horizon 2, you could get beat by the events, they wasn't all scripted. But this just looks great, I've got to say. Probably my um, probably my most looked forward to game on the Xbox. I think this year, but I mean all the others are actually out on on all formats. So, but yeah, this is one of the highlights for me. And as you can clearly see, I've caught them up already. I'm literally. A fraction behind them and not raced at all well in this race so yeah 
it, it's scripted for you to win it, I think, at the end. So, yep, yeah, let's carry on as I am recording. Now, guys, the, um, the actual video that I'm reading off or speaking off has frozen, so we could have a problem with me doing the audio, but... Uh, I'll keep talking, but I, unless the picture catches up, I can't actually talk over what I can't see, which is a shame. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the audio, guys, and I'll, I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let it roll. For some reason, it just does not like this bit of um, this video and the ending of this race. So I'm gonna let it continue, and I'll let you guys listen to what happens and hopefully the voice editing carries on and the video editing and picks up later on so I'll just stay quiet for a little minute and let you watch the end of this race So as you can see there, the ending definitely scripted. Um, you do win it, and it tells you about the fan rewards, and it's kind of the base gameplay of of this Horizons. You win races, you win fans, which unlocks points. You'll see at the bottom there it says "Open New Festival, 21 and a half thousand." Now in this demo, but you don't see it because I do a shorter one. But in this demo, I get to the 21 thousand, and as you can see from the map in a, in a second, you'll see where the Horizon Festival is. And again, it's just like with the Forza Horizon, it actually is just the same kind of gameplay but it's what nice you see obviously they're giving you a plug here Name's to Warren. buy the game directly through tragic. the demo I know you're in charge, but I'm your bloke which I think they've garage. always done so, you need so yeah this is the intro to the thing it's giving you your career mode basically oh, it's going to open the map and give you a chance Kira to drive to an next drive event and I think all to do in this video is drive to one more event and do the race so we'll let it unfold hopefully the, the video's picked up a little bit at my end so fingers crossed. We're starting to bring some pretty big Everything name guest drivers okay. into the festival now. Most of them just want a chance to line up next to you. I say we give it to them. Trying There's a driver the I've had perfect my perfect levels for the here. background audio to my Beat audio. It's a bit difficult when you do it like this, but hopefully I've, I've got it right. But as you can see from the map and the descriptions now, it tells you she's basically going to send you to a race now. You can click there and the obviously auto map will tell you where to go and you drive your way to this thing but there's the horizon festival but yeah sadly in this demo you can't do it you can get the 21,000 points because she puts up a few events in a little while but you it wouldn't let you actually do it but as you can see it's, it's really nice of this game I just, I just reiterate what I just said earlier about it it's exactly the same it's pretty cool there that you see the driver tar is one of my friends on my friends list that's what it wants me to go and find and, and have a bit of a mini race with. I do like that. That's a cool thing that your friends list are not only in there as driver tasks as they have been for the past few years with the Forza series, but it is now actually incorporating them into the actual gameplay. Which is pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, now you just basically see me drive using the map the GPS to, to, to get to the, uh, the next event. I think my driving skills did actually pick up a little bit here, although I'm struggling to see the video in this edit. So I'm kind of, uh, doing the audio on the fly, so apologies if it's not up to usual standards, but it was for this or don't put the video I had. And I have redone the settings in my capture card so it won't happen again. Judging by the timer on my clock, we're at actually about halfway through this. Quick look. Challenge them to a head-to-head. -head. 
And I don't know if I'm going to actually do the audio the whole way through, because the game can speak for itself in a little while anyway, so I'll probably just get to this event here when I'm racing Hot Wheels David, which is quite funny actually. Obviously Hot Wheels David, I'm guessing, is a guy, but if you take a quick look inside the cockpit of the Ferrari, I think it's a woman in there, so there you are, David, you've, you've been changed. But yeah, this is a good race, this is. And this again is, is, is another mechanic in, into the Horizon universe. I, think, I don't think this was in the others. It's where you race the opponents this time in challenges, and when you when you beat them, you're trying to get them to your crew. So I think in this game there's a kind of mechanic of gameplay where you, you're trying to get a crew. So I think that's going to be one thing that wasn't in the previous versions, if I remember rightly. But all the other stuff's there. There's the billboards that you can crash, smash later on. I did. I don't think I did it in this first play, but there's billboards, there's all the usual stuff that's in it. The map looks massive by the way. This section is just the bottom right hand corner of Australia. It'll be interesting what scale it's been done to. Obviously I don't think it's going to be one to one. It'll take you days to get across from one side to the other. So, But everything else is there, speed cams, the usual stuff. I'm um, plenty to be going on with, so yeah, it's, it's the normal Forza Horizon, but then again, that's not a problem, I love it. And there you see, I mean again, I'm catching up on video, so I'm getting into bits and starts. There you see, look, we get the, one of the friends list, which is cool, driver time, I can get into my team, and I don't know what that entails when we get it, because the game didn't take me that far, but now it's going to take us to the next part of the, the demo. I think you'll get to see now when, when when I get here on the beach, although this car isn't exactly made for the beach. I think you get a lot of sand in this in, in real life, but obviously it's not real life. But anyway, we're going to get to this event and then you'll get to see the actual gameplay of Forza Horizon 3 this time, which is the map opens up, she lets you pick, the driver tar gets involved in a minute, you pick some radio stations, and I think in a minute what I'm going to do is Close this audio down for me voicing over. I've, I've gave you my thoughts, I've talked about the beginning, and I'll just let the video run out at, at the end. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, boss. The video is to picking really up actually. To start bringing in the fans and scouting drivers, we need to get you racing. For that, you'll need your car. This is where you clearly pick the cars. Um, I forgot to mention in this um, audio dub is that I played this demo the previous evening without recording I played it for an hour got to the end of all the stuff that it gives you and in that, that version I picked the silver car I didn't see the name of it the second one um, so yeah I actually played that one so this time I picked the beam the beamer the BMW just to get a feel for the different cars now I will say to get to this point by the way I had to go and manually delete my save to be able to record this video for you guys and start from the beginning so you got the feel of the entire demo I had to physically go into the game settings on the front end of the Xbox look at my game saves and delete the Horizon one and I actually it took I've cut it out of this video but this actual video started with me first booting the game up and it had a problem it would not find the game it wouldn't trigger the start of it because i'd obviously manually deleted the save whether that's a problem going forward i don't know but i've, I've only just done it just to do this but it did work in the end as you can clearly see as, as i got to the demo this bit here i absolutely love you change the number plate basically to make it personalized within eight eight characters which again is a nice touch so i guess this will make me feel a little bit more enjoyable game I've got my name in it I've got my nickname in it and it's kind of I feel more involved before. in the game but We're here's the map that they chuck up now and show you that, what you can fans. do in this demo which is to be fans, fair like I said earlier there, you've already had two good races in this and then they open it up Our with all the stuff within the video with these markers set a route to a marker and let's see what we can find In my previous demo, I went to the very first one closest to the beach. I think it was a race. And I think in this video, I'll go to the one to the top left. And then naturally, I think it unlocks the the um, GPS um, driver. And she tells you where you want to go. And you've got your choices as usual. The radio stations are cool. I think it lets you pick them in a second. I'm working on signing one of my favourite parts of the first one, actually. Well, it's your call, boss. Who will it be? 
Yeah, here's the radio station. So I said you can pick two at this point out of Hold the four. I'll get the deal and obviously the more modern music for me is not for me. I'm a bit too old. So I, I, steer, I steer clear of the hip hop and the, the, the bass Maybe arena, I think, and I pick radio. the other two. You can Indian pick two, and you can scroll cool. through with the D pad the left side. or right, or you can turn, turn it off around. on the it's scroll. So. I enjoyed classic music on, on the last version. I used to play this game quite a lot with headphones on in Forza Horizon 2, and literally played classical music all the time, and it was very soothing and enjoyable. Here we go, probably will stay with the audio actually. In 400 meters, turn right. Be interesting how many of them classic events are in this. I think I remember right, there wasn't there about six in the last one, five or six. There's the train, there was the turn giant right. cargo plane that was really cool. I'm trying to think of the others that was around. In 100 meters, keep right. This felt a nice car to handle, by the way. In 100 meters, turn right. Kind of slightly better than the silver one. Probably why I'm waiting for, for the copy of this game, actually. I may go back and delete the save again and try the other two meters. cars just to see what they feel turn like. Left. Can't see it's going to be a much difference, but let's get into grips with the game. Turn left. And I think I, I don't show it very much in this version, but we can. Remember the last Forza Horizon where you could just go off road and plough through trees and go anywhere you want? This has kind of got the same mechanic. You don't have to steer to, to where they say you can literally just drive through a fence and off you pop. be interesting if the barn finds are in. That was one of my favourite parts of Forza Horizon. Remember the barn finds where you, it gave you a bit of an area of a map. You went driving to look for a secret barn, you found it. Found out some old clapped, clapped out old style famous car and then the, your mechanic took it back to the depot, repaired it and after about 15 minutes you could go and pick it up and race it, which I did like that, that was a good point, I hope it's in this, but you don't get any, there's no clue of that in this version that I found anyway, which would be a shame if it's not in. Hey Julian, this is a circuit race, four lap belt route, specified number of laps, sound simple enough? Alright, people want to see you racing. So, yeah, so I'm looking at the clock. There's only about exhibit. seven or eight minutes of this left, so I think we get to the end of this. And uh, yeah, this is the race, actually. Yeah, it's an exhibition. This is one. This is, yeah, this is a real good race, actually, because I, I think I drive it through the windscreen just to show you guys the camera, camera settings. It's, it's the usual things as well, guys. You've got the out of car, very out of the car, in the car, bonnet view, the usual standard. Um, I also, I forgot to set in this race, in my very first play I set it to hard, I like playing on hard because it knocks a lot of the automatic settings off, it also makes the driver AI a, a little bit harder and it gives you an actual challenge. If you watch this video I forget to set it to hard and you'll see actually just how he, easy it does on the setting that I left it on the default, I think it's medium or normal won't let you change the difficulty once you've started the race as you can see there that's a bit weird but anyway but you'll see how, how easy this be well not easy but how much I do win this by so yeah the settings can be tinkered with a question I get asked a lot when I play these games um, for the show and on site I I always have automatic gears simple reason don't drive in real life a serious leg accident. I've had five, four surgeries, I think, on, on my leg. And I don't drive in real life. I never have done. So for me to be used to a manual gearbox is completely alien to me. I've never driven a real car. Um, I know in theory I'm on a video game and I could probably learn it if I put time into it, but I, I just never get around. I have tried it, you know, and it just it completely for a non driver, it's probably hard for me to describe to you guys, but I do get it. You know, I can hear the engine noise, I virtually you can tell when to change gear in my my mind. Obviously I'm guessing if you're a real driver then it's like yeah, you know, it must be just second nature, dead easy. But for me, manual is impossible. And also I know a few of our community have got um driving setups, four wheels. Again, 
people ask me why have you tried a wheel have you played with one i've played with one i got i got one cent in the early days of cranky gamers i got a real expensive top range ferrari-esque wheel um and i got it sent in by i think it came by ups it was a massive box and it was only for review for a week and it had to go back uh, and again because i don't drive in real life i found the steering wheel very alien very weird but i guess like it is with any video game if you practice enough you'll get used to it so i'm pretty sure if i did put my mind to it got a wheel played manual gears it would be you know i, I would kind of do that because I, I have heard some of our community who are top top driving game enthusiasts manual gears and wheels make quite a bit of difference which i can well understand thing to note on this video see i'm getting it sporadically so it's a bit difficult i think i was proving here where my favorite view is bonnet cam I like to have the bonnet on the front, it feels like I'm in a real car looking through the glass and that's my kind of view that I get on with, always have done. When I'm in car, it's difficult for me, I can race as you can see, I can do it. One thing in this game that annoys me, and I think this is the part in the video, you'll notice it's raining. When I'm in car, the wipers are on and it's clearing the, it's clearing the screen for me and I can see. When I push out to bonnet view, it's howling down with rain, but the water's always on the screen. Now I know some may say, well yeah, because you've not got wipers on the outside, but it's it's kind of a video game. Surely if, if you've got the wipers on in the car, then surely the, the rain should sporadically clear when you're on the outside. It's just really annoying. Um, and I don't know why that's done. I really don't. It's a, it's a weird one. And obviously as soon as it rains, I've got to play inside. Which again is kind of changing my gameplay which again it's annoying i think it was in the last one as well i noticed it in the last one so anyway guys there you can see i did win that race and won it by quite a considerable amount so be careful when you set ch choosing your um difficulty settings normal and medium is very very easy i've got to say um i bumped it up to hard the previous evening and it was just about right i was having races where the you know the ai was was a challenge and the extras for actually can driving the car were, were, were okay too, so yeah. Um, I'm just wondering now, it says loading on the video, I've got video. I think now, this that's virtually it guys, there's nothing else I do, I think I drive around on the map a little bit. It's showing that I've only got three minutes video left on the or one and a half minutes, so I'll start closing this down. Um, overall views, love it, it looks absolutely superb, there's no question about that, how good it looks. It's Forza, it's the, it's the new iteration. Yes, I will be getting this, hopefully, when I get the review. I don't know what, in the past few years, as I said earlier in the video, you, they do send these out early for some reason. They have done the last two. Now, if that's the case, they do send it out with a strict NDA is what coverage I can do. Now, what I will do, I will abide by that NDA and probably be able to show you some full footage of the game. If the NDA is tight and it holds it down, then obviously I won't have to wait till release day. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm hopefully going to be able to bring you some more video of the actual game pretty pretty soon because normally it's about two weeks they have arrived before and, and i think we're about at that point now so fingers crossed i can get you some more coverage before you get it it is one of the top titles this year it's obviously going to run hdr i think it's on one of them one thing to note guys as well very very shortly i think it's the 22nd in the uk um the weird thing though, it's the 22nd I think in the UK that it comes out. I am sticking with the Xbox One pre-order, the Xbox One S because I'm selling the other one and hopefully I'll have an unboxing of the Xbox One S around about that time. The only thing is, EGX is very very close to it. I think it's the day after. So depending on schedules, videos and what have you, that Xbox One S unboxing will be live or live-ish on the day I get it. If it's affected with EGX, I don't know. Now, for all you people asking about EGX, I will be there. Please come meet and greet. Follow me on Twitter, at Tozol. Um, CrankyToz at gmail.com is my email. I will be there. One of the Cranky Gamers is actually kindly giving me a lift there and back. So I will be with one of you guys already. So, yeah, if you are going to EGX, it will only be Thursday, guys. So, like I say, hit me up. Keep an eye on Twitter. We'll arrange a meet and a greet and a drink. I think it's a place to drink and eat. I'm only, I'm only there for the day. And so, yeah, it should be a good time to meet up. So, there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry for the impromptu audio. That's a bit strange. My bad on not getting the settings right. So, hopefully going forward, everything will be fine. 
crankytons at gmail.com come to crankygamesuk.net where our weekly gaming podcast is there every single week if you want to support us on Patreon patreon.com forward slash cguk just a dollar that's all it is don't ask for it it's always free the shows will continue as will the videos so if you like it click the like click subscribe for more videos more unboxings and just geeky gadgety stuff thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed Forza 3 Horizons bye Thank <laughs> you.